Just to software, click on the import, go to the powder data, click on yes format from file. Now here I have saved data on the desktop and this is nickel nickel oxide sample. In this folder you will see there are total four files, two are the CIF file for nickel oxide and nickel. One is the instrument parameter file and then is a data file. So double click on the data file. Yes. <clears throat> now it will ask you choose instrument parameter file. So again double click on the instrument parameter file. Now over here on the left hand side we can see XRD data. Now here I want to limit the, the two theta range. So for example I will start from around 13 to and go up to 30. So come back to the right hand side and here you can click on the limit in the limit set the new origin time t minima and the original t maxima so new one is uh, 30 enter so this is the range where I would like to perform the data to find so click on the background over here we can see the intensity is good enough and the background looks much flat so i'll choose around 10 number of coefficient to fit the background and background function i will keep as default from xrd's uh, diffractor graph you could see that the like the peak one the peak second and then the last peak they look much broader whereas the peak number three and the peak number four looks much narrow so that could be because these two peaks are originating from one phase whereas the three broad peaks are originating from another phase so let's check out that one and click on the import go to the second option phase in the phase choose from ci file so first i will import the nickel oxide ci file okay and the editor phase name is nickel oxide select the histogram so this is the histogram for which we want to perform the you have been using the ci file at this phase so this is nickel oxide then again go back and import phase ci file and this time is nickel open yes nickel phase open check the box okay so now we have nickel oxide and nickel phase if you go to the instrument parameter this is the wavelength used to record this data and if you go to sample parameter in this case you need to uncheck this histogram scale factor which i want to fix as one now come back to the nickel oxide here in case of journal you have refined unit cell check this box the lattice constant is 4.684 which will be refined after checking this box and in case of nickel phase do the same refine the unit cell then you can go to this, like here there are nickel and oxygen to it. Go to the data. In the data you will see there are five different parameters. One is a phase fraction since it has two different phases in the same XRD diffractor graph. So we need to check this phase fraction. Similarly we need to do for the nickel. Apart from this we have the size, micro strain, LG mix. What is LG mix? It is a Lorentzian Gaussian mix function. So if you can see this peak this peak could be a mix of Lorentzian and Gaussian or it could be only Lorentzian or Gaussian. So this coefficient should remain between 0 to 1. So if 0 is a Lorentzian, if 1 is a Gaussian and if it is in between 0 and 1, Lorentzian and Gaussian mix function. <coughs> so we need to remember that this value should not exceed 1 while doing the refinement. So again you can go back to the nickel, nickel oxide phase and then click on the atom. In this case, we can see for nickel oxide, we have two atoms, nickel and oxygen. Here are their respective partition coordinate, that is 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 for nickel and 0, 0, 0 for oxygen. And then we have the fraction. So these values uh, will be fixed. What we can define is a fraction and the last parameter, that's the UISO, that is the thermal, thermal parameter. Similarly, in case of nickel, we have only one atom, that's a nickel. Partition coordinate is 0, 0, 0 and the fraction will be remain 1 because it's a matter. What we can refine is a thermal parameter. Now let's go back. 
click on the calculate go to the third option it shows a refine so the shortcut key is uh, command and r and in windows is control and r so click over here now it will ask choose jesus to project file name so the project file name over here is nickeloxide nickel and where to save i will save over here click on the save once you once done then it will start to refine so initially you can see the radius sky score is 303 so click on ok initially you can observe your xrd peak they looks much broader compared to the theoretical calculated peak so this problem could come because of the micro strain or the size factor so we can we will click on the micro strain check these boxes and hit the refinement button command r now you could see the reader's chi score is 6 which is much better and the fitting also looks pretty good now if you want to know which phase is nickel oxide and which phase is nickel what you can do is click on the reflection list so over here you can see the reflection reflection list for the nickel oxide which is the planes are hklp 111 200 and 220 and their two theta position is 16 18 and 26 so 16 18 and the 26 similarly for nickel phase we have 111 and 200 within this limited range so the peak over here is uh, 111 which is 19.4 and peak over here is uh, 200 which is 22.5 apart from this if you click on the home button then you can also see that this blue vertical marker those correspond to nickel oxide phase and the red one correspond to the nickel phase okay now back to data so let's perform refinement one more time command r 6.145 now i will check the size and check the micro strain do the same again it has reduced to six just click on LG mix. Repeat the same. Remain the same. No more change. Uh, make sure LG mix remain below one or at least one. So this is fine. Click on the LG mix for the micro strain. Click it again. So it is reduced to five point eight. So that is much better. But in this case, you can see it's exceeding one. So fix it, fix it back to the one. Perform the refinement. Now click on the micro strain one more time, and let's see it's five point eight five. Repeat it one more time. Five point eight five. No more change. Let's consider LG mix. See what happened. Okay, four point seven. Much better. One more time. 4.7. I'll uncheck these boxes. Go back to the nickel phase. So here you can see one soft SVD singularity is SVD problem. So highly correlated parameter. That means we cannot refine these two parameter altogether at this time. So 4.7. Okay. Now click on the size. And check again. Try to select these two together again, it's not allowed, highly correlated, so we cannot do that. Go back to nickel oxide and click the size, let's say 4.5. Let's click LG mix, not allowed. Micro stream, not allowed. So I'll click on the micro strain and I'll go to the next option that's the atom. So over here, since we cannot refine the XYZ, those are fixed value, we can refine the fraction. So check, click on F and select the F in the perform the refinement. So it's 4.1, much better. And now we can select the second and uncheck this. Repeat the same for Karma, much better. So, from here we can see uh, this value is very close to 1 for oxygen, but whereas in case of nickel, it's much lower. 
so that means the sample has a nickel deficiency uh, okay now check the third parameter that is blue i'll select both the units and see what happens okay it has reduced to 1.98 very good but try to make sure that is not red flag now you can see over here it's red flag because it's negative so i have to so this value is very close to zero so what i will do i will set it as one and make it zero okay and do the same again no so first uncheck So, okay. so this is done. I will go back to the nickel phase and do the same. Here again, we cannot refine the XYZ or also the fraction. What we can refine is only thermal parameter. So, hit the refine button. Red shows strongly correlated. So, that means I to uncheck and go back to the data your last try let's see what happened 2.6 slightly better LG mix and six it's not a lot yeah. okay that's all so this is how we can perform the retro refinement of multiple XRD data covariance and over here you can see WR and uh, reduce chi square and the goodness of fitting. Now if you want to export this data, click on the export, go to the powder data as and in this case you have to choose histogram CSU file and save it. Then again go back, export, powder data as, uh, sorry phase as. Uh, quick CI. Choose the both nickel and nickel oxide. So okay. Save. And now what we can do? Uh, just close it. Save. Yes. And go back to the folder. So this was saved in this folder. Over here you can see there are number of files created during the refinement. But these files are not useful. So we can simply select them. GPX file. And delete them so move to trash so this is what we need <clears throat> so you can open the csv file with uh, excel sheet so over here you can see all the detail and later you can copy all this column into the uh, plotting software like origin and if you want to know more detail you can open the list file so in this case, uh, in this file you can find the XYZ for nickel oxide and the ABC value. Similarly, XYZ for the nickel and the ABC value. And also the thermal parameter. This is the refinement value with the error bar. And I hope uh, you learned something through this video. If you like it, do share and subscribe.